All right, we're live. Woo! What's up, everyone? Uh, I'm here today with my bro, and I got Fallout 4, motherfuckers. Probably the most anticipated game, like, um, ever. What'd I do? What'd I do? What'd I do? Oh, it's just a loading thing. Oh, shit. Following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at Vault-Tec have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. I'm special. In this chapter, we focus on perception. It is the unfortunate truth that when you go above ground, you will be faced with many post-nuclear nuisances. These frightening menaces will come in all different shapes and sizes and pose like an boogie. immediate threat to your survival. Hey, boo -boo. You must learn to deal with these dangers, but may find you this missed. challenging at first. Congratulations. That's why we've provided you with the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System. With the Vault so Tech Assisted Targeting System. And Shoot his underwear. Areas of weakness. Blow a couple holes in his penis. And the higher your perception, the more accurate you will be. Why, you'll put Davy Crockett to shame. There may be times when you must engage in questionable activities. <coughs> your perception can help keep you safe during these morally ambiguous moments. Practice your pilfering on youths. The elderly, or the incapacitated. As you continue to purloin your way to success, try more challenging targets. Actually, you probably would have had one in the chamber, so... For greater <laughs> returns. <laughs> Don't get too cocky there, sport. Ah, run away! Always look to sharpen your five senses, for perception doesn't stop oh. there. Keenly assessing the unfriendly locals and handling sensitive munitions with people in building a long distance relationship. Regularly study your Vault Tech provided materials to prepare for survival and to answer the question oh, gonna... Do you know yeah. what makes you special? I'm gonna fucking shoot, I'm gonna fucking shoot! <laughs> Take a little bit to enjoy this beauty. Actually, I'm not going to press any button to start. I'm gonna. Punch. Ask it be on me. My game, yippee, yippee. You sure betcha. Oh my gosh, you guys, you don't even know. How long will that record? Uh, for like a long time. I have a lot of memory. It's already like almost five minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I waited in line. I talked to smelly people that wanted to talk to me at GameStop. And I said, hey, back up, you nerd. Go suck a fucking dick. 
You heard? <laughs> My great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. Oh, that's just how good the graphics he are. got his wish. You need to learn to respect this. When the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. Shows how everything but then, got to where it went. in the 21st century. There's no like the Fallout series. You see those cars. People awoke really from weird. the American dream. I never understood why. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war, war never changes. Goosies running through my body. All right, that was epic and all, and freaking amazing. Like seriously, war this never game. changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans' hall tonight, hon. Oh, you think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Stop hogging the mirror, sexy. All right. How fluffed up can we make this guy look? Looking good. Looking good. I do look pretty good. But you know what? That's not the point. Let's change it. Okay, so... Let's change his hair. I'm not really digging that whole style. I think it needs to look a little bit more gay. They got that. That's like a modern type of haircut. <laughs> Give me your bottle caps, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I just said. No, that's Stefan, the manager at McDonald's. That's exactly what his hair looks like. These hairs, though, they look really weird. I mean, they look really real. Yeah, I can't make a decision, guys, until I do not look black. It's throwing it off for me. How do I tape? I do. Oh, chest nuts. Coffee. Give me your bottle cups. A book in my heart, did you snanny? Honestly, I'd rather look pale because I'm not noticing any. I look like an Indian. Oh, yeah. That's the face I fell in love with. Mm. It's not all you fell in love with. There's way too much to change in so little time, and honestly, it's been like already 10 minutes. Alright, we're gonna give him a crooked nose. 
No, I'm just kidding. Let's just... I'm the alpha male. I say... Choking hobby. Dude, that says rock star. That says homeless. <laughs> this new haircut's really working for me. There is so much to change, guys. Let's just let's just get through with this. How do I how do I even you know what we're done? I look sexy. I always will look sexy. Oh, uh, Bethesda, how much money did you put in this game and I still have invisible hands that open and close doors? A Braxo for all your cleaning needs. Okay, that's pretty sick. Hammer to smash your cheating wife's head in. Another fine product of General Atomics International. Let's stop shitting around. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Rule to perfection. Thank you and so much. Newspaper just delivered. And I will read that newspaper. When we get back to this, uh, there's so much to do, guys. We haven't even started. The Vault Tech truck. All is coming to an end. And I will be getting to that in the next episode. And you, Matt, you are looking fine. You have one fine little booty. All right, so I'm going to stop it here. Uh, make sure to do whatever you want, all right? Have a great day.